GitLab Commit. I'm really excited to be here at our inaugural European User Conference. Thank you so much for being here. Today is about GitLab and it's about you. Let's learn from each other and let's have some fun as well. Um, GitLab was born in Europe and before we dive into today's agenda, I want to get some energy into the room and I want to know who here is from London. If you can please raise your hand. Thank you for having us in your town. That's a lot of people. Let's give them a round of applause for having us. And I'm curious to know who here is from the rest of the UK. Please raise your hand. Wow, thank you. Thanks for having us in your country. <laughs> no Brexit jokes. Um, <laughs> who are here from continental Europe? Make the track across the channel. Thank you so much for having us. Appreciate it. And then I wonder who the people are who travel from beyond Europe. From Africa, from Asia, from maybe Americas. Thank you, thanks for coming all that way. Appreciate it. <laughs> thanks for indulging me. I hope that woke everyone up a bit. Uh, thank you for coming from places near and far to be here. We know your time is valuable and we're trying to make this valuable for you. Speaking of time being valuable, cycle time compression is the key to business success. This is a quote from Mark Andreessen, a venture capitalist in Silicon Valley. And this quote has really resonated with us at GitLab. Cycle time is the time between deciding to do something and getting feedback from users using that thing in production. And cycle time compression means reducing that time, reducing the time it takes to ship software and features to users. And we agree it's the key to business su success because software is eating the world and every improvement in a business has to be implemented in software. So therefore your jobs are becoming even more important and we hope that the best practices you will learn here today will help your company achieve cycle time compression and with that business success. We believe DevOps is the best way to compress cycle time while also building a high quality product. And GitLab will be with you every step of the way, helping you to make your business successful by driving down the cycle times with a solution that is a complete DevOps platform delivered as a single application. We cover the full DevOps life cycle. And that strategy of a single application has resonated with the market. Today, more than 100,000 organizations and millions of users use GitLab. In 2015, just four years ago, we had nine people working at GitLab, the company. Today, we have over 900 people across 59 countries working at the company. We were just named a cloud-native continuous integrations tools leader in the latest Forrester wave. And the report notes that GitLab's simple, cohesive approach lends it squarely as a leader. GitLab's approach of having a single application to manage each phase of the development lifecycle comes true in its developer experience. I'm very proud of our progress to date. And GitLab's journey started in Europe, where we began as an open source version control project and then became a company. So like to tell some highlights from our history. And that history starts in the Ukraine, where in 2011, Dmitry, the creator of GitLab, had two things he wanted to improve in his life. He would like to have running water, and he would like to have great collaboration software at work. And he started with the most important thing. And in the first year, 300 people joined him in making better collaboration software. In 2012, a year later, I was browsing Hacker News from, uh, from the Netherlands, and I saw this project, and I thought it makes so much sense that something we all collaborate with is something we can contribute back to. And I looked into the energy around the project. I was super impressed with all the contributions, but I also opened up the code base, and I was super impressed by how clean it was and how good of a job Dimitri had done stewarding 
uh, that being a good steward of the code base. And uh, I sent him an email. I sent an email said, hey, Dimitri, uh, this looks very promising. I'm going to start GitLab.com without you. I hope you don't mind. And he sent an email back saying, that's totally cool. It's open source. I'm so glad you're making it more popular. Um, so that was, that was the start of my journey with GitLab. And then a year later, he tweeted out to the entire world, I want to work on GitLab full time. And I sent him an email back, let's make that happen. How much do you need? He named, he named the price. And I went to the local Western Union money office and I said, hey, I want to make this wire to the Ukraine. And they asked, do you know this person or is this someone you met over the internet? <laughs> because there were lots of scams going on at that time. And I, I made that wire and we were in business together. And then I think the, the other country I want to highlight is uh, Poland because at some point, we got a contribution to GitLab CI, a completely new runner, completely out of the blue. And we were blown away by how much better it was than what we made in GitLab. And we said, okay, we'll make that official. And by the way, since you made that, do you want to join the company? And Camille joined the company. And after a few months, Camille said, look, we have to combine GitLab version control and GitLab CI, which were the two stages in the two applications we had at that time. And Dimitri explained how he was wrong. Uh, Dimitri said, look, there's new, no two applications that are better integrated. We got single sign-on, we got custom APIs. There will not be a benefit for the user. I also explained to Camille how he was wrong. He said there will be a benefit for the user. He said, everyone else in the industry has this as separate things. People want to mix and match. It, we shouldn't constrain choice. He said, well, if you don't believe it's better for the user, at least believe it's going to be better for us because it's going to be so much easier to have it in a single code base, in a single database, as a single release as a single application. And we couldn't argue with that. So we did it because we want to be efficient. We don't want to spend too much time. But it turned out he was totally right. He was right that it was not only better for us, but also for our users. And when we discovered that, that version control and CI were better together. It was obvious that the entirety of DevOps should be together. It's not just those two phases. It's everything from planning to securing to releasing to monitoring to defending. So that's the path he set us on. But back to today. So our vision of a single application is resonating around the world and in Europe. In fact, almost a third of our business and 42% of our customers come from Europe and we're really grateful for your business. Thank you. Our, yes, our customers deserve a round of applause <laughs> because without them we couldn't do this conference today. And our mission is to make sure that everyone can contribute. And GitLab is making development, security and operations teams more effective every day. And we're expanding to product managers, designers, QA people, everyone who is involved in software. Our mission, vision, and product also resonate with the wider GitLab community. I'm honored and humbled that the likes of Porsche, Siemens, Kiwi.com, and the Department of Work and Pensions here in the UK are not only customers and users, but also folks who will stand up here on stage today and they will share their dev DevOps transformations with GitLab, and I'm excited to hear about their journeys. Open source is in our DNA too. We have open roadmaps, we have an issue tracker that we work in. You can read and modify all of our source code, and not only our code, but even our company processes are open to you. We have a public handbook of over 3,000 pages. So it's very exciting to see that adoption by open source projects is soaring. You'll hear from KDE and GNOME today about their journeys in the open source panel run by Ray. And all of this is happening because the big bets we made are paying off. The first bet I want to highlight is the workflow portability for multi-cloud. We send the evolution from data centers to the cloud. For now, many organizations are pursuing cloud independent DevOps processes, which give them workflow portability. Workflow portability is the second phase of 
going multi-cloud and it offers the biggest benefits. It ensures that compliance is easier, that you can use the unique capabilities that the different clouds offer, that people can switch teams and still be effective immediately, and that you can host new applications in the cloud of your preference. GitLab is the only independent DevOps platform that gives you workflow portability. And today, you'll hear from Ocado and Delta about how they are leveraging GitLab to, do their, to implement their multi-cloud strategy without technology processes getting in the way. And we're proud that GitLab is part of their story. The second bet I want to talk about is the importance of Kubernetes. Out of curiosity, how many of you are using Kubernetes today? So that's about one third of the room, thank you. It's amazing to see the adoption of Kubernetes in a short time, and we think it's a ticket to multi-cloud for enterprises because it's a common interface to the clouds. It's also the ticket to reduce cycle time and to implement DevOps in organizations but it needs to be in the hands of developers for lasting results. So GitLab helps to put Kubernetes in the hands of developers and offer first-class integrations for managed Kubernetes services. Matt from Capgemini will be coming on stage later today to live demo some of that in a 20-minute demo, and that should be really exciting, and I'm really looking forward to that presentation. The third and last bet I want to talk about is security as a first-class citizen. Security needs to be baked into the software development lifecycle. It can no longer be a checkbox or an afterthought because businesses face increasingly sophisticated risks from attackers every day. In order to deliver faster cycle time, it's critical to connect the developers and the security professionals in an organization. And it's our bet in order to do that, both developers and security people should have access to the same data and the same information and be able to collaborate in real time. The bets we just talked about are paying off and the success of our customers is leading to deeper partnerships. And I want to tell you about some of our latest partnerships. You might have heard about infrastructure as code and GitOps. It's a growing requirement for DevOps teams. GitLab integrates with Terraform by HashiCorp. The integration allows users to borrow best practices from software engineering to version and iterate on infrastructure as code. Soon we'll have an integration with the much loved Vault project as well, baking in security for pipelines. As we discussed, security needs to be best in class at enterprises today, and already many customers use GitLab and Vault with great success. You'll hear from users about Terraform and GitLab throughout the day. We're also excited to collaborate with VMware to help organizations accelerate their cloud-native transformations. We're featured on their new marketplace and are working with Bitnami to list in AWS, GCP, Azure, and other cloud marketplaces as well. You'll hear from VMware in talks today, and you'll see an amazing live demo I've heard. As I mentioned, multi-cloud is key to the future, and GitLab wants to support all cloud providers. We also want to provide first-class support for managed Kubernetes offerings. So I'm proud to announce that support for Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service will be launching this year. Thank you. As with all the good things, there's still a lot of work to be done. And GitLab has an audacious vision as a complete DevOps platform delivered as a single application. What you see here is our current feature maturity. And the hearts you see here depict lovable features. Currently, there's only three hearts in a sea of circles. Specifically, version control, code review, and continuous integration have 1D hearts. But it's going to require a lot of investment to convert all the other features to hearts. Our goal is to have half of our features lovable by November 18, 2023. And we won't stop until everything in GitLab is lovable. And to do that, we need resources. And luckily, we've just raised the Series E round of funding. We closed $268 million. That value is $2.75 billion. 
We have many amazing investors backing us, and we really appreciate their support. We will use that investment to build for DevOps leaders like you. We will make our vision of a complete DevOps platform a reality, and there will be investments across the company in product and engineering and sales and in marketing. And later on in the product keynote, you will hear more about our plans. You can bet on us to continue to improve. Many here, many people that are here today pick GitLab not for where we were when you picked us, but for what we were going to, to be. And raising this money will allow us to keep holding that promise of getting better. You manifest our mission that everyone can contribute. This includes both people within GitLab and in the wider community. For example, our very own Martin has been leading the charge to transform our DevOps practices. He has changed our DevOps practices by enabling us to ship to Kubernetes ourselves with GitLab.com. And today we can go from commit to canary in GitLab.com in less than two hours. We have a program at GitLab called GitLab Heroes that honors folks who contribute to our community. And I want to ask the heroes in the audience to stand up because we want to give you a very warm welcome. Can you please stand up? Thank you. Thanks for what you do. Like they've contributing code, they're writing articles, they're doing all kinds of things that relate to GitLab. And there's a special booth here just for the heroes called the Heroes Booth. And if other people here are interested in learning more about the program, please stop by the booth too. We'd love to have you more involved in the community. So in the spirit of that, we want everyone here not to only learn from GitLab today, but also from each other. So there will be lots of time today for serendipity during the conference. But I hope we can start making new connections right now during this keynote. So if everyone in the room can turn to your neighbors, introduce yourself, and share where you're here from, from the next two minutes, I will do the same. Please say hi to your neighbors. <laughs>